So today we're gonna to be going over the new exotic revolver, the Regulus. Yes, we'll be talking about how you guys get this. It's a few steps that you need to complete to unlock this weapon, but once you do, we'll talk about how good this weapon is and if it's even worth the grind. So let's dive into how you get it and then we'll show this bad boy in action. So the first thing you guys need to do is you need to complete the raid. Yes, you need to complete the new Iron Horse raid. Now, once you beat the Iron Horse raid, you will unlock two new blueprints. Yes, two new blueprints will pop up in your inventory once you leave the raid. So the first blueprint you're gonna get is the Future Initiative blueprint, which you'll have to donate some Future Initiative fabric, some ironworks-based materials. You also have to get a Providence backpack, a China Light chest, Petroff gloves, Douglas and Harding holster, and more Kami knee pads. Once you have all of those, none of those can be replicas, you will be complete with that first part. Now the other blueprint you'll get is the foundry blueprint, which you'll have to donate um, foundry parts. You have to donate ironworks based materials, a 511 backpack, overlord, chest piece, badger tough gloves. You also have to donate Fenris holster, Sokolov knee pads, and then RNK mask. So those are the items you wanna make sure that you guys save so that way you guys have them ready to donate once you get to this part. Now, now once you do donate it, right, you complete both the future initiative, you complete the foundry blueprints, you will unlock the new one. This is going to be the exotic blueprint for the revolver. So you're gonna need a total of five parts and each one of these parts drops in a different location. Now the first piece is going to drop from the first boss. Yes, you will get your first exotic component for the new exotic revolver from the first boss. That is where you're going to get it. Now that we have our first piece, the second piece will now come, you guys guessed it, from the second boss. So the second boss drops the next exotic component that you need for the revolver. Now you're probably getting the trend. If we got the second piece from the second boss, well, once you kill the third boss, he will drop the third piece. Now, once we get to the final boss and you complete the raid, the final boss will drop the fourth piece. So now we have four or five pieces, so there's no more bosses. Where can we get the final piece? Well, the final piece comes from the crate at the very end, the same one that has a chance of giving you the new exotic rifle. So when you open up, you will get the final fifth piece for this revolver. So you do need to get five keys. Remember the final boss always drops one key and you can get four keys from the boxes throughout the raid. Now, once you have every single part, you can go to your blueprint, right? So we're gonna go to exotic blueprint and then we can donate all five parts, right? So we'll donate every single part that we got. And what you'll notice is now it disappears, but we finally have the blueprint. So we can head over to the crafting table. So we're gonna head right over there. At the top it says project finished. Good to see you. And can we can head to the crafting station. Plus. If we go to where it says weapons, go all the way down. It's gonna require us to have one more item. At the bottom it says items required, police magnum replica. So what we can do is we can go and craft this revolver. Most likely, most of you guys should have this one already in your um, inventory. So it's gonna be this one right here. Just craft it. Now, once you finish crafting it, you can head over to the blueprint and look, now we can fully make the Mine new exotic revolver. Might come in and there we go. We have the new exotic revolver the rolls on this were really bad, so why not try to upgrade this, right? So let's try to upgrade this real quick. Now you will notice if you go to the crafting vendor, she won't have the blueprint to upgrade it. You won't even have the blueprint in your inventory either. So you're like, what's going on? Well, what you need to do is log off, then log right back in, and then go over to the crafting vendor, and voila, she will have the blueprint. And then all you need to do is have exotic components plus the revolver, if you want to um, upgrade this. Remember, do not deconstruct the weapon. Don't ever deconstruct the weapon for the exotic component that you need. So since I need this, I just grab it. There we go, we're gonna see if we can get a better roll. Um, right here we have 12% pistol damage, 10% headshot damage. Max that roll for headshot damage. So let's try to upgrade this one more time, get a little bit closer to God rolled. 
So let's see what we get. And 14% pistol damage, max out headshot damage. Okay, this is what we're going to go with, right? Now, why is this weapon so cool and so cool to use? Well, the talent on here, headshot kills create 5 meter explosion, dealing 400% weapon damage and applying bleed to all enemies hit. Now, that's why this is really cool. What we're going to do is we're going to head to the range and test this bad boy out so you can see how this works. So we're going to take a few shots, hit those headshots, and just see how the explosion works. You see how the explosion does an area effect, hits the enemy, plus causes a bleed. So we're going to put on a little bit harder difficulty. So I put on very hard. So when I get that headshot, you can see the explosion happens, and then you can see the bleed ticks on the right-hand side. The number's just going up down and down and down so that's what's really cool about this if you stack if you build around this weapon you can cause a lot of damage with the explosion and you can cause a pretty nice bleed so this is how you guys get the new exotic regulus from the new iron horse raid it's a small quest but i thought it was better than just having rng where everything drops as long as you get the blueprint you complete the blueprint you donate all the parts you will unlock this. And one thing you should know, I did have a friend. He didn't complete the blueprint on his second character, but he was able to collect all the parts on his second character. And then he was able to craft the Regulus on his second character. So once you have the blueprint, it shares, well, if you have it to that option where it shares through all your accounts, well, there you go. You guys can craft it. Let me know what you guys think about this new exotic pistol. I can't wait to try to build around it. I just got it late last night and I figured, hey, since I finally have everything, I have every everything complete, I would bring you this video and hopefully it could help you guys out if you guys don't know how to get it already. Well, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you guys are new, hit the subscribe button, turn that notification bell on so when I release a video, you guys get notified. Until the next Division 2 video, nothing but skills is out.